We are back like we never left. What is good, everybody? My name is Weave, and if you are new to the channel, here we coach you on your personal growth and development. We teach you how to deal with and strengthen your relationships, or if you're in the dating game, and we help push you forward in your respective careers. So become an official part of the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom, and join us as we make daily commitments to pushing for success. Today, we are gonna talk about red flags and suspect behavior you definitely need to be up on in a relationship. Now, without any further ado, I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. So today I got five things you definitely need to be on the lookout for when you're in a relationship with someone that I would consider red flags. And we're gonna start here with number five. And that is the relationship is built on the need to feel needed. Often we sometimes get into relationships strongly identified by what we feel we need in our life right now. And that could be someone feeling somebody has to do specific things for them in order for them to feel secure and satisfied in that relationship. Or that could be like, allow me, your partner, to feel needed by fulfilling their needs, right? You shouldn't feel that someone doing something for you is the way to love. The expectation is both unrealistic and honestly, it's selfish. And if this is something that is going on that's constant, then the reality of that relationship growing or maturing past its infancy stages is pretty minimal. Fourth would be someone who is incredibly secretive. Now, I'm not talking about someone you're in a relationship with who tells you about their past issues, but maybe it just makes them a little uncomfortable to go into like a ton of detail about it. I'm talking about the person who's like, I don't really want to talk about it. Yeah, that person. Because first off, that's poor communication, right? And that communication will make you feel insecure because they don't ever discuss things with you. Second, this could be someone who is always not telling you about things, right? Going into a different room to take phone calls, having exes showing up in their inbox that they didn't know how they got here. Look, man, if you ever get that feeling that something ain't right, then something ain't right. And you need to find a way to disconnect from them now because the longer you stay with them, right, the longer all of this happens, all that's going to end is in heartbreak. Third is definitely someone who exhibits controlling behavior. Now, this is somebody who has needs to know your every single move, right? Like every move that you make, the need to know where I'm going at all times, who you talking to, who's all going to be over there, who you going with. What are you going to wear when you go out? Who just texted or called you? Like, who does what I call the divide and conquer uh, type of strategy, right? And this person basically encourages you to cut off your connection between you and your really great friends or you and the family members that you have in your life. And normally they're usually needy, but they are most definitely a jealous type of person. And they're more so jealous of your relationships with other people because they are insecure. And they try to control where you go, who you're associated with, limiting you and how they want your life to be, right? And their level of importance to you, not the people in your life's level of importance to you. They make you choose them over your significant others because that's their expression of love. This second one is huge turnoff to somebody who has their life in order. If you ever get in a relationship with someone like this, someone who is immature, and has unpredictable behavior. And what do I mean by that? Like some people have trouble mastering basic life skills, like taking care of themselves. They need mommy or daddy to do stuff for them. They need brother or sister to do something for them. They just aren't good at managing their finances. They can't keep a damn job. And listen, maybe they will mature in the future, but the reality is you can date them, but just remember, You'll be more of a babysitter than a significant other. So get your diapers and your bottle ready because you're going to need it. And of course, number one, this is going to be supremely important in all relationships. And that is just somebody you get in a relationship with who is awful at communication. This is usually somebody who's just what I would refer to as emotionally distant. They're just the I don't want to talk about it person. They don't want to deal with their issues head on. They don't want to think about it because it stresses them out. Now, this is the person who will also give you the silent treatment instead of talking a problem out with you. And if not, like if they don't give you the silent treatment, they'll just be in a really bad mood. 
what I'm going to tell you with this person, you need to get out now because someone who won't communicate won't be honest and that will shut you out. And there's a slim chance that they're going to change for you. A lot of times it's 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 awful that we sometimes get into relationships because we feel like we can change this person. We see the really good sides of them. But then on the back side, when we see that, we're like, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? But no, I can fix them. No, you can't and you shouldn't try. A lot of times it's impossible. And I'm not saying it's always impossible, but it's highly improbable that you're gonna change that person, especially if they've been living their life that way all of this time. And if you're someone who's a big on communication like I am, you should have bounced long before you saw this video. And always keep this in mind, right? With all those five things, like attracts like. Yes, you will have those people who you date where you can recognize these inconsistencies in like their mentality or in the way they go about their life immediately. But once you do, once you see the inconsistencies in their behavior, in their attitude, and you address it, but they still don't change, you know what you need to do, right? you need to hit them with these deuces. As always, I appreciate every single one of you for tuning in today. Have an amazing day today. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time. Peace.